Even though you don't know the exact meaning of the word elated, you can figure it out, right? You can figure it out. What is the meaning of the word elated? You have to do this homework. You have to write down the different ways in which these words can be used. Thanks a lot for watching this video. It was a pleasure recording this video because today is my birthday. I'm shooting this video on 24th. Of course, this would be published in Feb or something, but for me, birthday celebration is shooting good videos for you. Okay? Hey, uh, there are many words in English language. They are very confusing, actually. So I decided that I will make some videos about it. I mean, I will make two or three parts of videos. Friends, let us understand what are confusing words. Let us come here and understand this. For example, let us take this word, bark, B-A-R-K, bark. Now, bark has many meanings, actually. You know what? First is bark, a dog barks, one meaning euro. Second meaning is also there, which you may know or may not know, like bark of a tree, bark of a tree. Let us move forward, blue. Now, what is the meaning of the word blue? Well, you may be knowing only one meaning of the blue, that is blue color. Maybe, I don't know whether this is blue in color, but blue color. But another meaning of blue is there, and that is nervous. Monday morning blues, it is called blues. Interview blues, means you're nervous during interview, that is blues. For example, crane. Now, what is the meaning of crane? Well, you know one crane that is used to lift something heavier. Another meaning of crane is the bird, the crane. Another meaning is also there. Um, he craned his neck to see what is there. He craned his neck to see what is there. See, mean. Now, simple word, mean. But mean also has two or three meanings. For example, the mean of mean means average of. <clears throat> or another meaning is there, oh, he is a very mean person. Mean person means what? Again, you know, mean means a person who is a bit selfish and you don't like that person, right? M one more is there, a rock. One rock, you know, uh, that solid rock. Stone like rock. Another rock is there, oh, that is rock. Rock is a kind of a music, type of a music. Rock music is there. Uh, book. The book you read and book a ticket. So these are the words. They have, you can see your pronunciation is same. Spelling is also same, but the meaning is different. And the meaning is based on the contextual use. Now, this is a very important concept if you want to be a good communicator. The contextual meaning. Contextual meaning means when you, when you read a word, I mean, uh, to the left or to the right of the word, that entire sentence will help you to understand the, the context in which the word is used. Let me explain you with an example also. Uh, now, there are different ways to find out the contextual meaning. I'll explain you. There are, for example, one is synonyms as contextual clues. Clue means that, that idea you get, that, uh, that, that, that information you get, that is the clue. That is the synonym. Explain, let me explain. For example, this situation is a conundrum. Now, you don't know the meaning of the word conundrum, but look at the sentence here. What they have done? A riddle that's difficult to solve. Okay? This situation is a conundrum, comma, a riddle that's difficult to solve. Here a synonym is given, riddle. You know the meaning of the word riddle. Therefore, you can figure out the meaning of the word conundrum. This is called as contextual meaning of the word. You can hear from this sentence, from this word, you can get the context of the word. You can understand the situation in, in which the word is used. And this is synonyms. You can get contextual clues from synonyms. I can give you one more example. Look at this. Okay, okay, before I move forward, I'm going to give one great homework at the end. And the answers you have to write in the comments. I'm going to give you all these words. And you have to write down how these words are used. Okay, in different situations, in different contexts. Ready all of you? So, let me continue now. His hostility, his hostility or disgust, or disgust toward his colleagues divided the team, divided the team. Now, hostility or synonym is given, disgust. Disgust means don't like that person. Uh, toward his uh, colleagues divided the team. So, hostility, what is the meaning? Disgust, it's a synonym. 
cut it. Okay, so another thing is that she hums continuously or all the time and it's irritating to me or it irritates me. Continuously, hums means what? Hums, you don't know, okay, continuously, all, all the time. Oh, hum, okay, all the time. Now you can find a synonym, continuously, hums. <laughs> that is humming. So from this context, you can figure out the meaning of the word hum. H-U-M, hum. Okay, now let's move forward. Definitions are given for context. For example, Sam was lethargic. Now the definition is given. Semicolon is there. He didn't have the energy to go to gym or go to the office or go to the school. That what it means? Lack of energy is called as lethargic. That is a contextual meaning of a word. The dates are listed in chronological order. If you don't know what is chronological order, definition is given there. They start at the beginning and end with the last event. That is chronological order, a sequence. Start at the beginning and end. The chronological sequence of events that happened in the history. Uh, 1920, 1921 and 2000, 2024. Chronological sequence. Now try to understand here. Another important factor is while reading you should be able to get these clues while reading. Otherwise you will not be able to understand, figure out the exact meaning of the word. This is very important. All right. Next one is, for example, he knew his future was precarious, precarious and likely to fall apart. Now what it means, it's, it's like a definition, means precarious means not safe. Precarious, not safe. So when you read the entire sentence, you can guess the meaning of the word. That is called as contextual clue. But it's not going to happen so easily for you if you are a first time reader. You have to be a regular reader and then you start getting that clues, you start absorbing that, you start getting that hints and then you start getting better and better every day, day in and day out. Okay, another is there, antonyms as contextual clues. Okay, let us see, Sham is gregarious. I don't know what is gregarious. It's an antonym. Unlike means opposite, antonym. Unlike his brother who is quiet and shy. Quiet and shy. Now what it means? This means that Sham is not quiet and shy. He is outgoing, uh, he is very bubbly, he is enthusiastic, gregarious. Now you guess the meaning of the word. This is the way you have to guess the meaning of the word, the contextual meaning of the word. And as I said already that you have to read regularly for that. Attempting to avoid the conflict was futile. Futile. Futile means what? I don't know. Antonym. Exact opposite. No one was ready to back down. No one was ready to back down. Futile means no use. It was a failure. I, we couldn't do it. Uh, we were trying to avoid the conflict, but no one was ready to uh, stop that. And it was futile. It was of no use. It was a failure kind of thing. That is futile. Now, explanations as context. See, that's what I'm trying to explain you. I mean, how to find out the contextual meanings like explanations as contextual clues. For example, he was elated, yeah, because our definition is given. For example, explanation is given. For example, he got his results and he topped the exam. Now you got it, what is the meaning of elated? Now you understood because explanations, why, why he was elated, explanation is given. And elated, oh, happy, elated. Now, even though you don't know the exact meaning of the word elated, you can figure it out, right? You can figure it out. What is the meaning of the word elated? Another is that during the demonstration, demonstration, yeah, demonstration, yeah. Okay, uh, a scrimmage broke out. So the police were called to restore order, law and order. Now here, demonstration, scrimmage, police were called. If you uh, can understand uh, the sentence, then you can figure out the meaning of the word skirmish. Skirmish means what? Fight. Fight. Fight between maybe two groups. They were doing the demonstration. Fight. Skirmish. That is the meaning of the word skirmish. Got it. Okay. So I called him a nuisance. I called him a nuisance. Why? Explanation. Because he annoyed me with his incessant line of questioning. Incessant line. In again, another word is incessant means continuous, incessant. You can guess the meaning of the word incessant. 
a line of questioning, nuisance. Nuisance means headache, a problem, a trouble. Nuisance, nuisance. Like there are some people who keep on asking questions. It's a nuisance for you to handle these people. Do you have such people in your life? Nuisance they are called. Okay, now here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the homework. These are the words. Well, tire, stock. These are the words. You have to do this homework. You have to write down the different ways in which these words can be used. Just like I showed you, this is your homework. Will you do it? Will you do it? Let us see because my videos are not just one way. It is both ways. So in the comments, you have to write it. You have to write in the comments the answer. You have to write and let us see who will do it. Let us see who will do it, who will use it. Thanks a lot for watching this video. It was a pleasure recording this video because today is my birthday. I'm shooting this video on 24th. Of course, this would be published in Feb or something, but for me, birthday celebration is shooting good videos for you. Okay? Nice. Nice shooting this video for you, all of you. And namaste as usual. Take care and keep getting better in your English and in your mental health and mental toughness. I'm always there to help you. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.